Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and today I'm going to preview a card with one of the wackiest lines of rules text I've ever put on something. Happy Halloween, as this mechanic may certainly spook some people. Let me tell you all about this card and how it came to be. I was the lead designer for the Two Brothers War Commander decks. Now that means the Urza and Mishra decks, of course, but it also means the eight commander cards you'll find in the set and collector boosters for Brothers War. These cards are aimed for commander and in the modern card frame. Okay, so I had eight additional designs to make that could be anything, just things that should be fun and delightful and didn't need to stick to the deck themes. Well, there's one thing you'll immediately notice about the two decks. The brothers don't have a lot of green in them. So I wanted to lean a little more towards green with these cards and make some sweet green ones. In fact, I'll give you a little hint. Of the eight cards, two of them are green cards and a third is an artifact you'll probably want to be playing green to put in your deck. The others are a white card, two red cards, a multicolored card, and a land. You already saw The Brothers War previewed at Magic 30. I thought this epic story should have its own saga, and I'll be back to preview the land tomorrow. You can catch the rest on our weekly MTG stream at 2 p.m. this Thursday at twitch.tv magic. Until then, speculate away. Okay, so back to this green card. One of the things about being in design for a long time is that if an idea doesn't work somewhere and you like it, hold on to it. You never know where it will be useful. Mark Rosewater has told stories about how he's held on to mechanics like energy for years, waiting to finally find the place to deploy it. So when we were working on Zendikar Rising, I had the idea for a card. It had text that was something like, while searching your library for a basic land card, you may find any land instead of a basic land. I pitched it, but it didn't make the cut. It was cool, but especially having to go through standard, that card had a lot of implications for standard balance and what cards like Evolving Wilds can do. I thought about it again for some commander decks, but there was another problem. We don't like doing tutors in our commander decks. We do basic land tutors, but only because they're easy and simple. This would force a player picking up a precon who might not know the contents to look through every land in their deck to find the right one. Not a great fit there either. You can actually hear more about this philosophy in my video where I talk about Magus of the Order. So I held on to it. It was a cool, splashy line of text. And coming to make these cards, wait, these didn't need to go through standard and they weren't part of a precon. I might finally have a spot we could do this. So I put it in. Things were looking pretty good, but when it came to implementing this in the magic rules, it had a lot of challenges in interpretation. And that's when the various rules folks, an awesome group, and I brainstormed to come up with something that not only did what I wanted it to, but opened up some other sweet functionality too. The answer, simply put, was this, ya yeah, basic. Let me introduce you to Root Path Purifier. It's three and a green for a three, four elf druid. And it says lands you control and land cards in your library are basic. What in the world does this do? Well, it does what I originally wanted. When you cast Rampant Growth, you can go find any land now. Want to find your Maze of Ith? Go ahead. Want to find your Bajuka Bog? Go for it. Explosive Vegetation for Dark Depths and Thespian Stage? Now we're talking. There's a lot of wild cards this enables. Notably, it only works when searching specifically for a basic land. If you're searching for, say, a forest with wooded foothills, you can still only find forests. But it also gives you a little bit of play with things that call out basic lands. For example, your opponent's back to basics no longer affects you. Or you could play them together, but only a monster would play those together. That means you, April. I look forward to seeing you discover all of what this card can do. It's a wacky line of text, and it finally has a home here. I'll be back tomorrow with another preview card. And that one is also a doozy for different reasons. Until then, ya basic. You got this. We've got Lathless, Dragon Moon. Here's Muhammad's take on it. It's worth noting that all the flavor text of these was also inspired by talking with the kids. And who can argue with this statement on Lathless? And then we have Tyler Jacobson's rendition of the piece, bringing this cool dragon to life. Next is Birds of Paradise by Eli. I love the use of color 